Hi, this is Vince Lara in the Media Relations Department at the College of Applied Health Sciences at the University of Illinois. Recently, I spoke with Manuel Hernandez, an assistant professor in kinesiology and community health, about the inaugural MS Research Day. So what inspires your research? What do you think led you to this line of what you do? Yeah, that's an excellent question. So part of it just came from personal experience. So looking at my grandparents and all the challenges they were facing with aging and chronic conditions, mm -hmm. and looking at the big negative impact that would arise from falls. Mm -hmm. And so it's something that we were able to see from our both of our families. Mm -hmm. And that led us to, and our lab in general, to be able to focus on intersection of aging and neurological disorders, mm -hmm. and getting a better sense on factors that might be um, hidden or Latent, and then might help explain why there's a higher propensity of falls or injury in certain populations. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of that has led us to getting a better understanding of attention and anxiety and the impact that it has on our ability to control everyday movements. So this being the inaugural MS Research Day, what, what is the goal for you? Like, what's the goal? So in terms of inspiration, it provides us with a great way to bring everybody together mm -hmm. across campus that's working on similar questions. Okay. And that's usually one of the challenges that you face. Um, you tend to continue working on a set area, and then you don't have the chance to go down the door quarter or go down the street right. to talk to other clinicians, other neurologists or engineers or basic scientists yep. who are working on similar questions. And so it's a wonderful opportunity to bring everybody together mm -hmm. and allows us to be able to move to towards this collaborative yep. where we'll be able to take le leverage all the resources we have and use them to be able to provide a stronger set of tools to be able to get more definitive answers for some of these questions. Mm -hmm. And then in a, one of the benefits that we hope that will come out of it will be being able to reach out to members of the community and providing them with resources of what we've been able to learn in their recent past and hopefully getting some feedback in terms of areas of importance for future direction. Now beyond the U of I people that are here, and I know mm -hmm. there are several that are here, yeah. who are the other kind of community leaders that are here and, and what future collaborations can you see with that happening? Right, yeah, so there are members of the community who are living with multiple sclerosis, yeah. and there's also a combination of clinicians and representatives from the support groups. Mm -hmm. So one of them um, was representing the National Multiple Sclerosis Society, right. and so it serves as one of the biggest foundations to help further the research of multiple sclerosis. So it's great to have all these different parties on board to be able to talk about um, some of the impetus for research and development and talk about some of the resources that are available. I guess in addition to that, there's also an industry piece. So you'll see a lot of um, vendors that will provide some ideas in terms of new innovative solutions. A lot of them are really wonderful to work with. So as they're thinking about the next generation of products, they really listen out to researchers and users to get a better sense on what would be some modifications or what is the, the direction that research or work is going to help provide the appropriate tools. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, as you said, this is the inaugural mm -hmm. MS Research Day. Yeah. So you hope to do this again, and, and what are the other pieces you'd like to see added as you go forward with this? Yeah, so moving forward, we really would like to see more of a two-way street of communication mm -hmm. between participants, individuals that are living with multiple sclerosis, and then the research community here at Illinois. Mm -hmm. We've always prided ourselves in collaboration and being able to reach out and provide uh, support and service um, to the general community. And I think being able to um, provide links and resources to members of the community living here in central Illinois who have this neurological condition will be important. And hopefully we can move together towards identifying solutions. My thanks to Professor Hernandez. This has been A Few Minutes With.